perhaps the only person not thrilled about the Vikings acquiring uh, star edge rusher y- Yannick uh, Ngakwe was the guy who's going to be most directly impacted by the move, one Afadi Odenabo, the pride of Northwestern. Now, w- we love Afadi. Uh, right after the trade, uh, Odenabo tweeted this out, quote, fool's gold, end quote. So now... There's a couple of ways to read this. Number one, uh, you know, giving up a, a second and a conditional fifth, as well as twelve million bucks for a player who last made a Pro Bowl in 2017 uh, and can't stop the runs like an Imodium AD trying to stop Taco Bell poops. Yeah, th- yeah, that guy. So I don't, I don't think it's this. Uh, you know, Afadi and Yannick have known each other since college, both play in the Big Ten. Uh, so I, I think it's almost certainly not a personal dig. You know, players generally don't do that. And Afadi, that would be extremely out of character for him. Uh, number two, uh, which I think is most likely, is that uh, Afadi was referencing uh, his opportunity of starting opposite of Daniil Hunter, where it seemed like it was wide open. Uh, but uh, Vikings defensive line coach, as well as co regional defensive coordinator, uh, had a mini clapback at Afadi when asked about it in the media. Uh, uh, Dre said this quote, uh, nothing's given in this league. You weren't everything you get. That's all. Uh, that's all the players. Uh, nobody's given anything. Nobody's given uh, that they're going to walk on the field and be a starter, end quote. And even though it seems pretty harsh, but he's absolutely right. Uh, just because Everson Griffin is gone, uh, Afadi had to earn the right to start over a, a rookie that they potentially bought it brought in. Remember all the talk about uh, oh, uh, Yadder Gross Meadows? I was coming in now. But as well as Jalen Holmes stepping up, Cheeseburger Eddie Arbro, as well as the draft picks, Wanham, Lynch, and Willikis. And he did that. Uh, Afadi had a phenomenal camp uh, working primarily with the ones at right defensive end. Uh, but then sometimes life just flops an Ngakwe in your lap. It, it's a it's an old trope because it's true. Uh, and yes, you, you cranked out 26 pressures and seven sacks last year in a rotational role, and you were awesome in year three. But Yannick does make this team better, and, and that's what this is all about is the team. So I, I don't know if the Vikings either told him or heavily implied that he was going to be the starter or it, it was just shaping up that way with two weeks to go uh, before the season. But uh, Afadi isn't a sulker. Uh, he isn't. And yes, may, uh, maybe this, uh, you know, the tweet was just a little bit of mm. venting of frustration. But uh, Afadi's overcome a lot to get to this point in his career. Uh, he fell all the way in the draft to the seventh round despite big college production. Uh, he's been bounced around the Vikings practice squad and then the Cardinals and the Browns and back on the Vikings. He even turned down uh, an opportunity to join the Eagles 53-man rooster to stay on the Vikings practice squad because he was loyal uh, to the team. Uh, he knew that there was great opportunity here with Everson gone. Uh, and I-, I think that he still will have that opportunity because I, I wouldn't be shocked if he started uh, week one ahead of Yannick, a.k.a. had more snaps than him. I mean, maybe not in the program or on the TV telecast, but also who gives two poops uh, about that? So in in Gakwe, he's had no OTAs, well, like everyone, but, you know, uh, as well as no training camp uh, until this point. So uh, I think using him as a situational guy versus a full load makes a lot of sense. Also, just stylistically, it makes a ton of sense, too, since he is a liability against the run. He's phenomenal uh, as a pass rusher and apex predator in that regard. Uh, but also, you don't want to overload him and have him play 90% of the snaps and all of a sudden he pops a hamstring or some other soft tissue injury uh, just because he's not in game shape. You don't want that. Nah. And also, uh, even though Daniil's tweak uh, it is uh, quite possibly overblown, and the team is taking it very, very cautiously uh, about it. Like they're not gonna come in week one after all of this tweakiness and play him 60, 70 snaps uh, out of the gate either. I don't see that happening. So Afadi will be in for Yannick, or he may even start uh, over Yannick, especially on early downs, as well as uh, be rotated in for Daniil. Plus, he'll get some work on the inside. Uh, plus, uh, you know, Afadi, given his solidness against the run and ability to play defensive interior, I-, I wouldn't be shocked if this season he still has 600 to 700 defensive snaps uh, as a key defensive line contributor. So maybe it is not as picture-perfect as he saw Take him the mantle of Everson Griffin. I'm going to be every down right defensive end starter for the Vikings. Maybe that was the fool's gold that he was referring to. But he still has massive opportunity. And I think that eventually he will see that. And he is a guy who will get in the work and give it hell and just give it his all. And he's still, number 95 is still going to be a big time contributor for the Vikings this season. All right, so your thoughts. Uh, Afadi Mad, motivated, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Must support that work. Pull us on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull production value.